discover how the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is accelerating cures. My name is Kimberly Stroka, and I'm an associate professor in the Fischel Department of Bioengineering at the University of Maryland College Park. My lab's research focuses on the blood-brain barrier, which is a highly selective physical barrier in our brain microvasculature that's made up of the brain endothelium and other neural cells, and that regulates the flow of ions, nutrients, and cells between the blood and the interstitial fluid of the brain. Now, blood-brain barrier dysfunction is believed to occur in many neurological diseases and disorders, including stroke, multiple sclerosis, and infectious diseases, Alzheimer's disease, and also tumor metastasis. My lab is particularly interested in understanding tumor cell invasion across the blood-brain barrier, which occurs in brain metastasis. Brain metastasis occurs in approximately 20% of all cancer cases, and unfortunately remains a devastating prognosis due to limited treatment options. A major hurdle here is a lack of understanding of the mechanisms by which these uh, metastatic tumor cells invade across the blood-brain barrier, which is supposed to be a very highly selective and tight barrier. So to understand this process from a more mechanistic point of view, my lab has developed an engineered model of the blood-brain barrier. To do this, we have fabricated a microfluidic device, which is a small chip containing tiny channels of similar size to blood vessels. And we injected in a hydrogel material that mimics the soft tissue surrounding the brain microvessels, along with induced pluripotent stem cell derived brain microvascular endothelial cells. One thing that's unique about our model is that we have been carefully considering the impact of the mechanical microenvironment on those stem cell derived brain microvascular endothelial cells. So in the brain, these microvascular endothelial cells are exposed to various mechanical cues, such as the stiffness of the surrounding tissue, as well as low levels of shear stress from blood flow. With support from the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund, we have systematically incorporated these mechanical parameters into our engineered blood-brain barrier model and assessed how they affect the brain endothelial cell-to-cell -cell junction integrity and local permeability. My lab has developed an image processing software program that takes in images of the uh, immunostained cell-to-cell -cell junctions and then outputs a lot of quantitative information about the integrity of those junctions. This research is really important for two reasons. First, because we need to know the optimal parameters that produce the best blood-brain barrier in our in vitro model. And second, because these mechanical parameters can actually change in diseases such as cancer. So now that we have this blood-brain barrier on a chip with the stem cell-derived brain endothelial cells, along with those appropriate mechanical, biochemical, and biological cues, we can also flow in metastatic tumor cells into the device and assess how they're interacting with other cell types. This device is now enabling us to understand how tumor cells cross the blood-brain barrier during brain metastasis. Our blood-brain barrier on a chip is also useful for therapeutic applications, such as understanding the mechanism of drug transport across the blood-brain barrier. Without our research, our blood-brain barrier model that we're using to understand brain metastasis would lack the appropriate mechanical cues that critically impact the behavior of the cells in this system. So in other words, what we learned in our research may not be applicable to the actual human body if we didn't have all those appropriate cues incorporated. Our research is helping to take a step closer to having a blood-brain barrier model that has the appropriate microenvironment conditions that help the cells to behave how they do in our actual brain microvessels. So what we learn from our disease models may have more relevance. The Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund has provided us with the support to advance our blood-brain barrier on a chip device incorporate those mechanical cues and evaluate their impact on the brain endothelial cell barrier function. They've really enabled us to make our model more physiologically relevant so that we can better understand the process of brain metastasis. Accelerating today's stem cell research into tomorrow's cures.